Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news about O.J. Simpson after getting out of prison. He's pissed. You know it's really a strange world we're living in when the day comes that of all people O.J. Simpson starts making more sense than the whole mainstream media machine and the American left. In an interview this week O.J. Simpson said he agrees 100% with President Donald Trump when it comes to Colin Kaepernick and the rest of the ungrateful ball tossers in the NFL and their social justice warrior disrespect for the American flag and our national anthem. In an interview with the Buffalo News, Simpson said he appreciated what Kaepernick was trying to say but he made a really bad choice by attacking the flag and the national anthem. He also made the point that when he was growing up most of the deacons in his hometown were also KKK members, but that doesn't give him an excuse to disrespect the Bible. So, in turn, there is no need to disrespect the flag over a few things a handful of police officers are doing. In fact, he added, the flag stands for everything we want to be. Via the Buffalo News no vote for Trump. Although Simpson occasionally veered off topic during Monday's three hour interview, questions were supposed to be about football. What did he think, then, about Donald Trump's interest in purchasing the Bills after Wilson died? Simpson grinned and emitted a deep exhale. If you were good, he would have been fun, Simpson said. Ain't no doubt about it. The one thing I can say about the Donald is the Donald is fun. Well, for a dude, and I consider myself a dude, Donald is a man's man. He would be a fun guy. But that's hanging out, if the Bills weren't winning, it would have been tough. Trump's offer came in a distant third to Terry and Kim Pegula's NFL record $1.4 billion winning bid. Trump has said that if he'd bought the Bills, he likely wouldn't have run for president. Simpson and Trump once were friends and golf buddies. Simpson attended Trump's December 1993 wedding to Marla Maples at the Plaza Hotel in Atlantic City. Two years later, Trump suggested on The Howard Stern Show that Simpson was framed for the Brown Simpson and Goldman murders. Trump since has mocked Simpson on Twitter. Somebody asked me if I'd have voted for him, Simpson said. Probably not, but I only know two of my friends I'd vote to be president. Some of my best, best besties I would not vote to be president. That has no bearing on it, you know? Simpson generally agrees with the president about Colin Kaepernick and other players who've demonstrated during the national anthem before games. Kaepernick in 2016 started a controversial movement while with Simpson's hometown 49ers. The quarterback knelt during the Star Spangled Banner to protest racial oppression. Kaepernick has been unemployed since the end of the 2016 season. When he did it the first time, Simpson said, I thought, well, you took a gamble, and I give you credit. But it was him continuing to do it where he made the biggest mistake. I'm a firm believer of doing what you think is right, but I would always stand for the flag. Interestingly enough Simpson also said he initially thought Kaepernick did a good thing by calling attention to the issue. But later it fast became a big mistake once he continued to do it week after week and then it caught on with the rest of the players. I'm a firm believer in doing what you think is right, but I would always stand for the flag added Simpson. Simpson also said he couldn't vote during the last election because he was in prison. But if he would have been able to vote chances are he wouldn't have voted for Donald Trump. Although he considers him a friend he doesn't agree with him politically he added. Simpson attended Donald Trump's wedding to Marla Maples in 1993. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.